we have a dairy barn at a high school. One and only in the US. I don't know what to say. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm at Bristol County Ag High School in Dighton, Mass. Brand new robot barn. Yep, you guessed it, deal about robots. Since some of you didn't realize I have a day job doing, being a robot technician, herd management specialist, Pretty much anything robots. So previously, I worked for Dealer Valve Corporate doing herd management work. Handfield Dairy Equipment. I've worked for them uh, going on four years. Next month, beginning of next month, it will be it will be my fourth year. So, as you see, brand new building, brand new campus. I'm hoping we can get a tour of the campus and show it show it off to you guys because it is wild. They do everything from well milking cows dog grooming mechanics um training I, I honestly don't even know so i did not go to this high school this is an hour and 10 minutes away from my house i went to minuteman tech and we had like cosmetology um automotive plumbing welding uh carpentry cooking I'm trying to think what else we had electronics yeah they got horticulture stuff like that but this is the building they still got some punch list items but we got milking so school ended finished up last week and let's go on inside and i'll show you around we're gonna get the start of the show you guys want to see what yanko does during startup weeks what are you doing where you been you been hanging out so the other day I was in here and I'm video or I'm editing video. So this is the office. Don't mind the clutter. We're still in startup week. Um, I'm in here and so people are wandering around and I'm like, oh, this room is cool. Big ACs running. Startup week stuff. Um, and I'm in here and I'm editing video and I was like, damn, I gotta get my charger. So I walked out and Yanko was in here and uh, as you see, it's chalked open now door locked Yank was stuck in there had to find somebody with a key um, to get him out because some of the doors are locked so that only professionals can go in like not an average person has to go into whatever that means uh, control room but so Yanko sat here being emotional like he was on the PETA commercial of neglected animals sitting watching everybody out here doing work well, so here we go Malkin area one V300, we got our holding pen, cows come in. At some point, I'm gonna turn this off for a sec. At some point, I'll show you the functionality of the new robot. So this is the V300, uh, next generation after ours. It can melt some freaking cows. Very impressive, so they updated the camera. Um, yes, this was our fourth robot between our two farms, we got Another two unit to go in, um, single unit, maybe some more, maybe two, two more units. So, yeah, milking cows with robots. Bought. Take a step out here, so cows come in, smart gate IDs them, this sorts them either this way in, or as you see, we got a cow that came through. So currently everybody in here, because we're all caught up, has milk, uh, has no milking permission. So they come to this gate and says, okay, no milking permission, go straight through. If they had milking permission, it would say, okay, how many cows are in this holding area? And then it would decide from there based off criteria of how much milk you actually have where you're at in lactation. And if we want to sort your days of milk, stuff like that. So she's going to go through, push through the finger gates, go out, get feed. And this girl right here, what are you doing? 
she might wander her way over here too. You want to be on TV? So from there, take a step in here. It gets a little bit noisy. Vacuum pump. We got our chemicals. Pretty good time. Step out in the barn. So this is a guided flow barn, which means that the gate there decides and says we want to milk you or you can go to eat. Either way, they're going to eat. A lot of people are confused by that gate. So either they go and get milk first or they come here. It's basically a human selecting and saying the best utilization of the robot so that cows, such as there's some jerseys here, and jerseys are awesome robot cows. The problem is they figure out what grain is and they're like hooked on it. So you'll have a jersey and she does it already where she hits that gate and she comes up to this one, looks over and she's like, I wanna go in there to the robot. And then she comes back around, so. Yeah, a little bit of a mixed herd. We got some red and whites, uh, Guernsey. This girl's laying in the stalls. They're still figuring out. So these were tie stall cows that went outside. Uh, but not free stall cows, so it is some learning. And then heifers down in the end here. So the barn was built to utilize that so that they could put milk cows up in the front. Heifers or dry cows um, in the back. There's some calving pens back here. They adjusted very well. So how we did this, they came over from their existing barn and lived over here. But prior to that, we ran beast cows, dry cows in the barn to get it all slobbered up, get it cow stone. So from there, they came over and lived in this barn for a week. And they moved them back up there so that they could get adjusted. After that week, they moved them up. At night, they were up there just because you leave cows in a new barn, you don't really know. Um, and for convenience, as far as they came in in the morning, they started milking, they were already there. So, the second week they come down, we start pushing them through and feeding them in the robot. So we did that for the week. Over the weekend, um, they just were cows. They chilled out, did cow things. Monday, we pushed them through one last time. Tuesday, we went live in the afternoon. So pretty wild from there to here we got cows milking by themselves just relaxing I will admit these are stubborn cows because they're not a normal cow herd that uh, they're moving them all the time stuff like that so there's very relaxed laid-back halter broke cows they're much more stubborn than skittish freestyle cows um, but other than that I gotta say been really really good so cows are adjusting well and that's kind of part of it so when i worked for d Lavalve, i learned the do's and don'ts and pass it on to the every dealership i came across everybody thinks you got to push the cows you got to push the cows they got to break their mentality if you push cows non-stop they'll hit a wall and just stop so big thing that i learned through my life was uh how to manage cows and how to push them just enough but from here as far as our side teaching, the cows are gonna continue to pick it up, but they're gonna pick it up really quickly. It's the people. And that's in every scenario. Cows will adjust quicker, and then you gotta work with people to teach them how to manage them, to teach them the best ways around it, routines in the day. Um, if you're in here too much, if you're messing with them too much, you're blocking them out, you're messing them up, and they won't ever break their mentality of, hey, somebody's gonna come melt me, somebody's gonna come move me, do this, so. But like I said, comes out to the end of the barn here. Three row barn. This actually is very similar to our barn. Um, very similar, if, if you guys didn't notice. So take a step outside, I'll show you around. So beautiful, beautiful situation though. This came out really, really nice. So like I said, calving pens or group pens in the end here. A lot of space, a lot of cow flow, things. If there's any questions on the barn and things like that, drop them in the comments. I'll try to go through, answer them actually in the comments, or I think I will do a follow-up video of in here. Because we just finished milking everybody, um, I figured I'd grab the camera and show you guys around inside of here. 
and uh, give you guys an idea of what I've really been doing and what I do for work. Because a lot of people say, oh, we would like to see you actually, what you do for work, that would be cool. Problem is, usually, I show up on a farm, either I'm doing maintenance, or I'm solving issues, or we're having meetings. Um, so if I hold a camera that eats into any time of all that, um, and me walking around with a camera at somebody else's facility, well, I'm doing, helping them with something just doesn't make any sense. So, it's not professional. It's me rambling along as I work on my own stuff. Yeah, that's a little more doable. And it is set up so cows can go from here out to here and this was pasture area so they came in and literally cleared all this to build it um this project has been in the works for five years now the robot the concrete work started from start of concrete to actually here i think it was like a year and like three months so I don't envy anybody who works uh, construction where there's so many engineers, so many planners, stuff like that. So it is very, as you see, this is designed as a, as a school. So all the fire escapes, everything, it's, it's up to 100% code of being a school building or a public building as far as that. But very, very nice. And there is bird netting and everything up top. So should keep all the birds out as far as roosting on anything uh, yeah so they they hydro seeded all of this and uh we were kind of in a drought here if you guys remember and this is uh what it's what it's come down to so they're gonna have to redo that oh. well you guys saw it we have a dairy barn at a high school. One and only in the US. I don't know what to say. So, we're gonna get out of here. We'll uh, see what goes on. Oh, square bells. Ankle's gonna go right around. So like I said, it's a high school and they bale all their hay, they chop, they do it all. So it's pretty wild. Um, There'll be future videos. Like I said, I want to get over there and uh, show you guys around some of the campus. They, they're they out of school now, so it should be pretty cool to see what goes on. So I'm going to ask the, the head guy here and see if he can give us a little VIP tour for the for the content for you guys, for the subscribers. So appreciate you guys watching along. We're out of here. See you on the next one. Have a good one.